Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. Things are going good. Oh, this will be a nice little boost. New city tile generates half a point of production. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Siphon some energy for me. What is the production now in my capital, I wonder? Good old Ard. 291. That is a mighty amount of production. A mighty, mighty amount of production. And I believe we us. Oh, nope, nope. There's one territory spot left, and they will have hit maximum border size. All right. Ooh. That reminds me. Let's take a little look, shall we? How close are we to victory? Nine turns. Well, now. Well, well, well. Ook. You know what? This would be a good spot for another city. Just saying. I definitely need to get, need to get a few more uh, colonies going, though. I don't want to run out of territory to expand into or things to do with my workers, and that just will not fly. Also, thanks for killing those aliens for me. They were being a bother. Is that... Oh, there we are. Oh, then you can go there. Ah, perfect. Um, you know what? Go here, I think, actually. I think that's a good choice. Having pondered my options a little. Yes, you can go there for the mining. All right, to Holland back. All right, here we are. The impact of the strangely beautiful, mesmerizing, multifaceted hall on our city's culture has been profound. Art, music, literature, even popular vid feeds are devoted to its shape-shifting design. Why, some people say if you stare at it long enough, it looks like boobs. Now, a corporation specializing in commercial submarines starts sightseeing tours of the underside of the hull for eager tourists. Hmm. Natural engineers, our engineering corps, would uh, prefer nothing so extravagant and easily risky. Be allowed to approach the hull's most sensitive areas. So making calibrations and improvements to the hull's operations and need both privacy and security to protect their efforts. Well, as much as I would like to allow the public sightseeing tours, uh, the fact that the engineers are still working on the hull... Uh, I'm gonna have to side with the engineers on this one. It is like you, you can't do a, you can't do tours through a construction site, even though plus five percent culture would be wonderful. I will prevent the public from interfering with the engineering. Yes, so you to keep us safe, not be photographed by Austrian tourists. Sorry, guys. What's ours is yours. Uh, it's good to me. Why do they have no capital at all? By now they should have so many buildings that give them capital. I just don't understand. One of those. Um, the crawler. Eh, I'll let somebody else build the crawler. 
You can build... Borehole Bionics Lab Cell Cradle. Oh, here we are. You, Hajar. Wait, I don't think Hajar can build it. Nope, but you can build the Abyssal Mirror. So let's do that. And, uh... Colonist... Yeah, Colonist and a... Mosaic Hall... Build the Colonist first. There we are. More precious floatstone. And a good to supplied of, uh, of it, too. No, that was the right spot. I want to go one more to the right. The secret to being happy is to delight in the absurd, repress the irritating, and keep good wine close uh, to I know a few people who would definitely agree with that sentiment. If you see death, disease, aging, and senescence, and you experience any emotion other than revulsion, then you are held captive by romance and must emancipate your own thinking before you can help your fellow humans. It is a, it's a fair point. Uh, I don't think I'm as transhumanist as some of the higher levels of uh, supremacy here would go. But I can see why some would find it having a appeal. All right, let's see. Where to go with you now? Well, let's just buy a couple uh, strips of land. There we are. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 22 food. Uh, yeah. Ah, I'll go with that one first. Oh, why do they always go over the land? I just don't understand sometimes. I just don't understand. Look at you with your little army. Makes me wonder what you're doing. You know, that's not a bad idea for a spot, actually. You on the meanwhile. Um, I feel like uh, here. I'm gonna go here actually. I don't care what your recommendation is, game. I have my own plans. All right, what do we got here? Naming rights. With the borehole complex constructed, we're able to harness the geothermal and tectonic forces of the world to great effect. One of the construction contractors would like to buy the naming rights for the complex. Okay. So it'd be like the... The... The James Smithy Smithson borehole complex and juice bar. Anyhow, uh, for the construction work or energy supplies. Uh, okay. Work as pay. Plus, ooh. I'm going to take the work as pay. Give me even more production from the borehole. Yes. Yes, they are talented workers. They will continue to splash with more working. All of the working. Terra Vault. Everyone likes a Terra Vault. Um, and a civilian crutch. Oh yeah, you! You can build the crawler. Yeah, tell you what. You build a crawler and I will buy you a borehole. Perfect. I'm glad we could come to this understanding. Daughter. Oh, 
my lands are so cultivated and advanced. I love it. We are the shining example that others should look to. Oh, right. I'm at war, aren't I? I keep forgetting. I, I think he's, he's really getting involved in... It's just unnecessary. Just to say. Yeah, well, so we got my worker. Uh, no. If I'm gonna build over there, I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving into place to uh, to do some stuff. Uh, more health. You know, more health means more culture and more science, I believe. So yeah, let's take manage. Uh, Magna Santi. Each city generates half or uh, sorry, a fifth of a health for every building. Ooh, two hundred sixty-eight. That's gonna compound out in different ways. Uh, beautiful, beautiful synergies. But yeah. You can have a human hive. I think you will need to be given the gift of the borehole. And the fa that and yes. I'll buy you all of those things. And with them you build a grand thing. Nope, I'm gonna. I have to. Oh, ooh. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll build there. We'll build there. Yeah, I think we've developed the coast quite enough. <laughs> quite. Quite enough. There are lots of farms. I mean, at this point of the game, with all that my farms do, there's very, really is no reason not to have farms everywhere. Okay, you could use one more trade convoy. Borehole. Uh, ooh, the Son of Distillery. For health? Yeah, why not? Chair Vault, 15% culture? Yes. And all these other things cost me specialty resources, don't they? Well, I'll start with that then. <laughs> yeah. And maybe, and maybe... Uh, another... Where is it? Colonist? Um, I, could, I could use a few more fancy, fancy ships, I think. Build a Mako and a... Uh, ooh, a Prime Lev Tank. Yeah! That'll be fun. It's prime. That's that's better than other things. Where is this army of yours going? I wonder. Ah, here we are. Oh. Interesting that you would launch the war there. Even though you're already being attacked by what is conceivably the second most powerful man on the planet. Hutama, I'm I'm the first I'm the most powerful. In case there was any any question there. Conservation. The sacrifice made by our brothers and sisters so we could live on this new world is shameful. Live your life in remembrance of the suffering we few left behind. 
I like to think that there would be a great deal of, of remembering in this sort of situation. The idea of... Make this world into a new Eden, should a serpent enter it and whisper words that will lead to ruin. Let us then become the rectifying archangel with the fiery sword. I was just going to say, I, I do rather like... Um, or at least I agree with the idea that should uh, should we end up in that sort of situation right, where we have fled the planet and uh, yeah we we fled the planet and uh, people have made some great sacrifices to give us the opportunity to survive on a distant world that we would honor that choice that they made that that sacrifice they gave for us. I like to think that. I'm not a hundred percent confident we would, but I like to think we would. Build! Perfect. Alright, well first things first, you need to build this way. Yeah, let's build there, too. Hello? Uh, sure. Boca Bayed. Well, Boca Bayed, you're going to start with what is we always start with. A trade depot. But I will purchase for you the gift of a borehole. Ooh, microbial mind. With mind stem. Yeah, build a mind stem, and we'll go from there. Uh, only that. Oops. Oops! Ah! Did I purchase? I did. I didn't mean to purchase. Damn it. Ah, well. We all make mistakes. Institute Gin Smelter Civil Crash. Oh, there we are. We all right. Where are you guys going to go now? Oh, there. Fair enough. I do have a big orbital coverage size, I suppose. Well, you know, I don't like to brag. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not true. I love to brag. Of course, consensus is uninspiring <laughs> and trite. However, inspiring original ideas are often tragic. I, <laughs> I actually like that one. I really do that quote. <sighs> Put a machine into motion by disengaging the brakes. Put humanity into motion by disengaging ideology that holds back its potential. Mm. And that ideology... Robots. All the robots. There we are. There. Uh... There we are. You go there. Oh, such a lovely territory. I guess we'll be heading down here, though, soon enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in hind. Now that I think about it, I'm clearing away a lot of forest, aren't I? Hmm. But I am planting things, so I guess it all balances out. Ooh, a nano hive. Look at that little guy. It's a tripod. That seems like a 
terrible design. I hope it's using floatstone. Uh, 80% of defending against ranged. Okay. Extra sight. I'm gonna go with this interesting one. I'm not sure what it does, but it's like the the premise of it. All right, we'll pick we'll pick more tech next time as we drive her closer to our adventure. I mean, unless unless somebody's snuck in a uh, like a beacon or something that I don't know about, we will be winning soon, and it will be good. See you all later.